have a great crafting time. Good afternoon. It is exactly noon today. Uh, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. We have a really, really quick card. Like, I put one together yesterday. I'm like, that didn't take, it's like so quick. Um, but you could add writing and you could add other things if you wanted to. But uh, I didn't do that. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over here. So here are the cards. Here is one. These are my high school colors. And what I did is I popped up this piece. I cut the hat so it would go all the way through, like on this one. So this is cut out, and this is cut out. And these images are free right now in Cricut Design Space. And if you want um, my the Design Space projects that I use, I do share them with everybody who supports my channel on Patreon, YouTube, and Facebook. And um, there's a new subscription Facebook group for only a dollar, and you get um, the files for a short time. But this is the front of the card. It's hard to see in the how that's, see it's popped up. And then this is the inside. And of course, this image is free right now in Design Space. So is this. This is part of a card. Well, I took it from that card and I added it to this card. I did some slicing and dicing. And um, this is a graduation base card that I've had in my projects for years. I think I... I think I even had this one 2015 and then I made it for every year up to 2019 and I never did a video on this one I have this card done with mom and dad I, I think I have a dad one I know I have a mom one for Mother's Day and somebody asked how to fold this for the graduation one and I'm like I've never done a video on the graduation one I'll do that tomorrow which is today so here we are it's really, really, really easy. So we're gonna start gluing things down. These have two layers. Now, if you wanted to add writing in the Cricut, you could add the writing and attach it only to the white layer. Or I thought you could just make it and you could hand write a little sentiment in here or something, or even over here, you could add decoration to any of these at all. And, okay, so I'm gonna use our glitter glue and just add glue. When you're gluing on paper, you don't need to use a ton of glue. Don't make it so thick that it ruins the texture of the paper. You really don't need much. side now these are different sizes so don't glue them down the wrong way because the smaller one may fit over here like it'll it would work but it's skinnier over here and fatter over here so I'm just gonna glue these down And I will make another one of these cards for next year also. Probably do the next five years while I'm at it. I do them all at once. It's easier. I remember how to do it then. There is a score line right here. So you gotta make sure I do not cover that score line. And then we're going to just go ahead and add the numbers. And then I'll show you how to fold it. Hi, Anthony. Hi, oh, hi, Jamie and 
Bobby and I saw Angela. You guys all have the one year badge of support. That is amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me for a whole entire year already. Although I think you've done it longer than that on Patreon. Um, but thank you, that's awesome. I love to see your badges grow. And I've had people ask about uh, how to get my files. These are my Design Space project files. They are just, I try to make them out of free shapes. So I, I'm not sure what font this is. I'm not positive it's a free font. It, I know it's an access. So I use images in access if I can't use free images. But right now, these are free. These are included in the free images. And then we're gonna put this together. No, if you have a girl or you wanna change this, there are lots of graduation images. Right now, the graduation silhouettes, they're free and there's all different kinds. You don't have to use this one. You don't even have to use this at all. Could even maybe stick them over here. You know, you can make the card however you want to make it. You could even put a um, picture on it. You could fill these and change them to fill, to print, and then add a pattern. Upload a picture of the graduate as a pattern, and you could print that in there. That would be fun. I actually don't have a graduate I know of, so I'm just making these cards for nobody. Try to line this box up even with this one, so they're lined up good, and I have it over too far. I'm going to rip it off. I didn't like where I placed it, so I just ripped it off. And it, we're gonna have to put more glue on, but it's okay. We're not gonna see any where, where the glue was anyway. I didn't have it over to the side enough. There. There looks like there's a bigger space here, but there's also a score line there. And the score line gets folded right there. We're gonna put this guy in here. If you wanted, you could slice this image through this paper too, through both of the papers or just one of the papers. Okay, so now this one this goes on the front, or you know what? You could put this graduate on the outside and put this on the inside. These are the same size. These squares here, they fit, they're exactly the same size. So if you wanna choose this one, and this says congrats on your cool hat, I just think that is awesome. It's one of the Cricut Design Space images. We're going to glue this one flat to this one, and then we're gonna pop up that piece. So I'm putting a little glue around the hat and then going around the edge of the paper. And when I'm putting this on the hat, I'm going, I'm not looking at the edges, I'm only looking at the hat. If I can get this even covering the hat, then I know the rest of the paper will be even. So what I'm doing is trying to get it so I don't see any yellow through the hat. And then I'm using ThermoWeb foam squares that are almost gone. Put them in the corners. And also put some in here. Well, 
we might as well use them all. I'm not going to leave the paper with only one on it. So then the easy way to get these down is to push on them and then peel it off. What is everybody doing today? Anybody crafting out there? Oh, that is a great question. What setting do you cut the words at? Because these words are a little intricate. So what we did is we used, see they're kind of intricate. We The words are cut out. So they're just on the paper. We didn't have to like uh, use vinyl or piece anything. It's all done. Um, so we cut, use the deep cut blade because the deep cut blade is great for intricate images. We're gonna place this on the top. There. So now we have a blue hat to match our blue graduate. Now the folding part here, so let me get back to there. I must have seen the squirrel. The, we use the deep cut blade for intricate images because it has a finer point on the tip of the blade. So we use the cardstock setting and um, to fold this, let me show you this one. So it folds like this. See that folds like that. On that one, I went and scored each one, but this one, when I have all the pieces together, because I scored this before I put it together, it kind of will just fold on its own. Or it will score at each little spot here so if yours isn't scoring just you know make sure you score each one and this one goes the other way so it's really easy that's the card congrats on your cool new hat can read this one better See how easy that is? Kathy, um, this card here with this part is my design. This on the front is from a card in design space, but I incorporated it onto this card. Okay, do we have any questions at all? So all we did was just glue these pieces together. There, this was already cut out on this white paper and you just glue it down. Oh, Sean, he says these are his school colors, yay. Well, Sean, if you were graduating this year, I would send it to you. Yes, Betty, all my videos are always available later. So here's what it looks like when it, it'll like stand up like that. There. Like I said, you could put this part on the inside if you want and put this on the outside. And there are lots of different graduation silhouettes there's for girls and boys and different jumping up and down and um just maybe the head and all different kinds of things you can put on there any questions like that was the fastest 
craft ever. Like it was so quick. And it's only three sheets, so you only have three mats. And with my projects, the ones that I share, all you have to do, thank you, Laura, is click on the link that I give you. I have pages of links. You just click the link, it opens Design Space, and all you have to do is click Cut. You don't have to size anything, unless you want to change and add writing to it. You are welcome to change things or change the images. But if you want it just how it is, all you do is click the link. You can click make it or click customize and click make, it's all sized. You don't need to add anything else to them. They're really easy. Yes, it's on Patreon, Betty. I used uh, art glitter glue to glue it together. I get this from May May Made It. Jamie just got the Cricut Explorer. Uh, this is on Facebook last week. She has no idea where to start. I do Cricut Design Space classes every single Saturday. And they are on my channel in a playlist. You can also search on YouTube, Melody Lane and beginners and find my i have some classes that are made specifically for beginners oh and i also want i have some announcements oh callie can you give me that other card okay thursday we have a video and it's already scheduled and we're going to do the napkin fold card but i'm going to be stamping and coloring with the alcohol markers in the fold because this is this is an old card I want to say it's years old I did not invent this card but I do have it in design space and I just tweaked it I found out when this was shared four year four or five years ago it was not made with free shapes so I remade it and I tweaked all the score lines and made it a little better so this is a napkin fold card so we're going to be doing this one and it's really easy since I uh, score it for you in Design Space. And there's no measuring or anything. Oh, that one gets folded up like that. And it has a belly band to hold it around it. Um, and then Saturday, we're doing a Pinterest-inspired Design Space project where we go and find a project in, in Pinterest and we recreate it in Design Space. That's one of the most favorite video or classes to learn to recreate things. And then next Tuesday is the start of the Sheila and Michael shenanigans. Sheila Rogers and Michael Crow are coming for four days. Uh, they're coming Tuesday through Friday. So I don't have any like specific craft videos planned yet. Last year, we kind of did a race with them with crafting. They had to like make a card. It was so much fun. And most of you have watched that. So we are going to have some fun with them. We'll be doing some crafting videos and some not crafty videos. Some just talking videos. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel the Sheila and Michael shenanigans. It was a lot of fun with them here. And so they're coming again next week. So I don't know what, what we're going to be doing, but we plan on having fun and we plan on sharing it with you. So that will be fun. Yeah, isn't this, these, this is one of my favorite paper packs from Cricut. One of them. We have more. Wouldn't this be fun to get a card like this? I, I just think it's so pretty. Yes, there will be wine involved when Sheila and Michael come. Michael always brings the wine. And I have a secret that he won't be breaking my wine glasses this year. I have a gift for them. They can't break. Yes, this card is already on Patreon. It was shared yesterday.
Well, are you talking about the napkin fold? The napkin fold is on Patreon also. It, it's been there for five years. And I just changed it up and made it better. Um, it's under files by type. And it might be under miscellaneous cards or fancy fold cards. Some, I don't remember exactly. Yes, deviled eggs were involved last year. Does the 2019 on the card that you glued on cut out separately? Uh, these numbers do cut out. Welcome, Keith Castle. Um, here's the back of the card. So it cuts out like that. And then I glued on the yellow pieces. Now, when you become a member of my channel, you get to, you get a badge next to your name. Like you see Bobby and Jamie and Judy. Um, and you also get all of my Cricut Design Space projects. If you go to my channel and go to community, they will be under there in community. You will see a password uh, with the website and everything that you get to go there. And you also get these fun emojis. I'm clicking all the emojis. And my keyboard doesn't want to work. It won't let me. Thank you, Joanne. There we go. There, it wouldn't let me add that last one. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you go for now. I would love, oh! I also want to tell you, I have a giveaway on Instagram. It ends Friday. And in my, my Instagram is Melody Lane 815. My Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane Facebook group also has a giveaway where you can win $500 for a, of a paper bundle, $500 value paper bundle. And that ends on Friday also. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you on Thursday. And if you have any questions on this card, please go ahead, leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Bye, guys.